Hey guys, Nick Sarity here, and welcome back to some more Telltales The Walking Dead. When we last left our hero, he was in this creepy old hole of a wall. If someone's living down here. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Anything else? Does not appear so. Alright. Straight through the door, then. Hi! Please don't shoot. Who are you? It's all right. It's okay. I, I don't want any trouble. Neither do we. Which is why you'd do well to turn around and leave right now. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here. Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around uh... here is dead. Came here with a small group hoping to find a boat. You just want to get out of here. How about you just let me go? Ain't no boats around here. Crawford took everything. Yeah, we just found that out, thanks. Yeah, I heard. You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Please don't. Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. I'm not from Crawford, but I saw what they did up there. It made me sick. I'm not like them, and I don't think you are either. I think you're a good man. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. Please don't. It's all right. It's okay. Oh, thank God. Vernon, what the hell are you doing? Vernon! Relax. I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just going to keep your gun, apparently. You're really not from Crawford? No. no. I'm really not. Well, we are, or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. You know, started weeding out the sick and the old so the perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so you're sick? We're sick. We're all members of a cancer survivors group that used to meet here at the hospital. We're in remission. But that wasn't good enough for Crawford. They'd already rounded up five of us before the rest of us managed to hole up and hide from them down here. This old basement's been abandoned for years. What is this? A morgue? Yeah. Nice. Irony's always high on my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. How did you find your way down here? A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Cool. Uh, can you show the me? The sewers are like a damn maze. I will Any get chance lost. chance you could help me find my way back? Look, I'd like to help you, but we've all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Uh, look, sorry for the kid. I just want to get back to my people, back to Clementine. She's your daughter? Might as well be. No, she lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Thank you. It's mighty kind of you. Okay. Clementine? Clem? <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Hi, Molly. Molly? Oh, hey. You made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. 
I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Where's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Okay. She's a peach, ain't she? Lee, thank God you're back. Crystal, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. Doctor. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Cool. Omid, oh, honey, you're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Okay. Clementine. Clementine? Clementine, you in here? Where is she? No. Okay. What's this? Clementine? Yeah, I'm not sure she'd be hiding. But sure. Let's check anyway, I guess. Clementine, you here? Kenny? Oh, hey, you made it back. Oh, Good dear. job. Good job. What the hell do you think you're doing? What does it look like? Where'd you get the bottle? Does it really matter? Found it. You want to throw down again like back on the train? Because I fight better when I'm shit-faced. Hey, take it easy. I think you've had enough. To hell with you! Getting wasted's not gonna help anyone. It really isn't. Yeah? Well, what is? We are fucked! <sighs> Molly oh, said there's not a single boat left in Savannah. No way out. We got walkers all around us, that crazy fuck on the radio messing with us. Hell, if now ain't the time for a drink? I don't know. I think maybe letting the kid have a drink. Clementine, you just, here? Just a little nip might actually be, uh... Okay. Not under here. <laughs> Check the yard. Clementine? Clementine! Oh dear. Um. How would you get in? Nice. 
Hey, Kenny, I found a boat. Whoa. I know, right? Do you regret getting shit faced now? I'm going to take that as a yes. Meat's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Yeah. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Eh, no, not really. But, uh... Well? We'll see how things go. You want the good news or the bad news? No, let's get the bad news out of the way. Get the bad news out of the way first. Bad news is, she's not taking us anywhere the shape she's in right now. Gas tank's empty and the battery's dead. So what's the good news? That's it. That's all she needs. Some gas and a battery. Other than that, she's good to go. Well, how are we supposed to get that stuff? Hmm... Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. Now hold on a minute. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? A lot. Trust me, you don't know <laughs> these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Be because real from what I've heard, sneaky. That place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Nice. We come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could it off. High five. What do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We Team have effort. To. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? We can do this. I know it. Hell yeah, we can. Are we seriously talking about this? Ben, go sit in a corner. I mean, what about the risk? I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That mm -hmm. boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Are you in or out? We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. That's how I'm still alive. Yeah, yeah no kidding. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? It's what going to be dangerous? Crawford. I can't lie to you, Cliff. Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. But it's the only way to get the things we need to make Omi better. To get the boat working. That's why we have to do this. Do you understand? I don't want anyone else to die. Does anybody else have to die? Neither do I, Claire, but sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. I 
guess I should go get ready. Uh, say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? <sighs> where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Yep. Well, Can't I come with look you? Look at that, another one of these conversations. You know what? Okay. Yeah. You can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the whole time we're there. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready. Check out what I found in the garage. Hatchet, hacksaw, some other tools. Might come in handy on this little break-in. Oh, definitely. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. A boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Claire, Krista, only Ben, Mark. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. Look, I'm just saying, if we want the best chance of... Who the hell is this? Oh my god. This is Bree. She can help us. Can he chill? Good. We're gonna need all the help we can get. I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. Hold up just a sec. You ready? Ready. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Shut the Did fuck up, Vernon. Did you anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... This isn't up for debate, Vernon. Decisions made. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. You never know when you're going to need little itty bitty Clementine to squeeze into something. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet. We stay hidden. And we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? Agreed. And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. <laughs> Ugh. I hate allergies. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a little strange. Me and Kitty will sneak out trying to take you out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kitty, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. Pulls out big ass gun. Face is ugly. What 
the fuck is a walker doing inside here? It's a very good question. Get inside, fast! Before they notice we're here. Ah, too late. Yeah, a little bit, but, uh... I don't think so. I think we're good. For now, at least. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh, man, we are so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than armed guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? Could we have left Ben behind? Come on. I think I know which way to head. He's a real Debbie Downer. I got a bad feeling about this. I'd have a better feeling if you'd shut up and sit in a corner. That looks promising. Not. It's a big red X. Can we move on? Just keep moving. Here. It's okay. Everybody in. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? That's a very good question. Here. Give me a sec. Any idea where we could find a battery? Maybe at the auto shop. There used to be one in the alley outside the fire escape. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. What about the medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. They were? I know that. Just makes sense, doesn't it? Sure. We'll go with that for okay. now. I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I suppose I'll it's not super important how no, she knows anything. Enough. You stay here. See if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. Okay. Ready? Break. What about me? What can I do? I need you to stay here with Ben and watch. 
watch over our command center. I'm putting you in charge of it, okay? You're leaving me with Ben? I'm not leaving you with Ben. I'm leaving him with you. Understand? Oh, okay. Back before you know it. You seem to understand how to do things properly. Better than he does. All right. God, my neighbors are noisy. <laughs> come on, Lee. Would you just like the alleyway to the auto shops down here? You coming or not? I'm working on it. The controller's being this must be the door to the tidbit weird. The auto shop is. But where the hell is Molly? Molly, you out here? Probably somewhere. Guess I'm not going that way. The looters will be shot on sight. Okay. Oh, great. Herman's. This is the place I'm looking for. Cool. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. <laughs> All right. Okay. What's in here? way up. Cool. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised that those shelves held a full-grown man. Nope. Okay. Well, when the fuck are we? Oh, oh dear. Okay. Leave him. Why? He's mine. Okay. Nice to see you. Personal vendetta going on here. What? What the hell do you think you're doing? It's dead already. I think you can lay off. Don't tell me what to do. You kill geeks your way, I'll kill him mine. Damn. Okay. He's wearing medical scrubs. Some kind of scientist or doctor, maybe? Yeah, well, he ain't shit now. This way in. Yeah, but the garage door is jammed. Can't raise it. Yep. Not a problem. Look what I found. Mmm, car jack. Oh yeah, that'll work. Do you see what you've done, Molly? Your noise attracted some. Time to go. Come on. Well, that fence is weak. Jeez. And of course, it's still alive.
Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Honestly, taking out the carjack would just be the best way to go about that. But okay. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Can't reach it up there. Uh, nope. No power. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. It's locked. No way in. All right. Something you need? Think I can borrow that, uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda? Hilda. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. What is with people in the Walking Dead universe and naming weapons? I got your promise now. Not a scratch. Are you so... so in need of human interaction that you must name a sharp and pointy object? Comment down below your opinion on the subject. I did it. Whoa, whoa. Oh, too far. That's probably not good. No shit! Yeah, thank. I'll try to hold him off. Hurry! There's the bat. Finally something goes right. It's off. The negative terminal still screwed on. Yes, I know. I'm trying. Oh my God, Lee! On. Would you unscrew it? Jeez. Got that one off. Thank you. Got it. Yeah, but we still got a problem here. Put it in here. I'll carry it. Okay, follow me. Time to go. Uh, time to go, Lee. Move your ass. Sure, I'd call that a complaint. More of an observation, really. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump! Ugh. I don't know, man. Oh, God. Oh, that could have been bad. <laughs> I made it! Doing. I've already been fired. Oh, okay. Worthless. For a second, it looked like the butt of a gun. Little help! Little help here! Oh dear. Oh jeez. Yeah, that ought to hold. 
Damn well better. Yeah. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. What's the hand with these fuel cans? They weigh a goddamn ton. That's how you know they're full, though. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Team living. <sighs> How long have you known Vernon? A couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I have no idea. I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together. Kept us alive. What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Jeez. Even now, with everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old. Even children. Those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how no, it's feel. fair. If you've seen what I've seen, you feel the same. I'll be back. Got some things to do. Good luck. You okay, Clem? Yeah. This desk is just like the ones we have in my school. I know it's weird, but I kind of miss it, being in school. I don't. <laughs> it's not weird at all. So do I. But you haven't been in school since forever. Hey, I'm not that old. <laughs> and I used to be a teacher, remember? American history. <laughs> Where's Molly? She had to go run an errand. She'll be back soon. I hope she's okay. She'll be fine. She's pretty tough. She could literally take care of herself. Do you think things will ever be normal again? Just like the way they were before? <sighs> I don't know, Sweet Pea. But we all have to believe they will. Remember what Katja said back on the farm? She said we'll all be home soon. And now she's dead. But we're not. We're still alive. And we have to keep hope alive, too. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Well, it can, but... What do we still need? We already got the fuel and the battery. Once we find some medicine, we'll be good to go. So where's this battery you found? Molly has it. She ran off to do something. Well, she'd better bring it back here. I don't know why you trusted that girl with it. We hardly know her. I didn't really she trust her. It just kind of happened. <laughs> yeah. What has she done for me lately? Really? No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Oh, something dear. Something's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What okay. is Okay. It? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? Yeah. He's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around? I have to tell him. Hmm, you know what? I agree. I think you yeah. should tell him. Just not now. No. You don't get it, Lee. What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katja and Duck? Just nod and pretend like Deal with it for a few more hours until we get out of this situation? Yeah. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. 
I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Chill out for a couple more hours until we're out of Crawford, and then... Yeah, by all means, tell him. I mean, we had to weed out people anyway, right? Alright, let's go check. Let's see if we missed anything in the hall. Ignore them, maybe they'll go away. Oh. Shit. Okay. Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Oh, jeez. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> Too touchy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Controller chose that exact moment to be out of fucking touchy. Don't shoot. What the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the meds? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Uh... There's no way we can bust it open? Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. Be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. Yeah. We just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Well, thanks for that. Anna Correa. I guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? A tip. Vernon, Krista, come look at this. I have no idea what's on it, but come look at it. The outbreak, 1547, Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records of all medical examinations and consultations. Oh, joy. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. That you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, you're... I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this, but I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Jeez. Heart. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Like Molly said, the worst kind. Lee, maybe there's another tape. We gotta keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search him, see what he's got on him. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably. I can't see anything over here. I guess we're back, back up and over. Oh shit, okay. Where did you come from? Well, okay. One less thing I have to take care of, I suppose. I was trying to look at this before, but yeah. Sure. Two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive? To keep on living? If this is what it takes. If this is what it's turned us into. I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you. Please help me. Maybe one day when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Dick. Jeez. No. 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 Are we listening to her shoot up the place? Jeez. I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. More importantly, we got the combination. Do you okay, Krista? Are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. We're in business. Whoop. Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. 
Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds for me. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Let's find out what's on that tape. I'm curious. Oh my. Hey. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Since when does Scrub well, zip up? Here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. Or are those supposed to be jeans? I can't tell. My sister they look like scrubs. Medicine. Without it, she'll die or she'll start showing symptoms and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, Jeez. that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, okay. Well, shit. Well, now we know why she had a vendetta against the zombie in the alley. Not that it's important, but now we know. Come on, Lee. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Okay. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Really? I'm just kidding. Ugh. Where am I putting it? What's that? Nothing. Forget it. We got what we came here for. Let's just go. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Where's the hatchet? Oh my god. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh, there's the hatchet. Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. And you didn't think it was there for a reason? It's time to go. I didn't do that. It wasn't me. Going, kid. Nice shot. Wow. Training paid off. What the fuck is going on? Right, time to They're go. Coming. Oh shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Really bad. Ben, you gotta panic right this. now. No, wait. I wanna know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Kenny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Fine. Do Go it. Ahead. Tell him. It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Gotcha and duck. It was all me. It was all me. And now you're doing it again. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the motor inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Because this was so important right the fuck now. Kitty, I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta 
Fucking fuck, get out of here! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kimmy, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later, but right now we gotta go! Nice group you got here. No, oh, shut the Not fuck the up. Time, Molly. I know what you've done. This thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did? He's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote you leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I yep. get a vote? Of sure. course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? Really? <sighs> can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. Don't give me that look. What about the rest? It's of not us? important. Don't we get a second? <laughs> This is going to sound awful with what's going on right now, but why would the rest of you need a vote? But all that matters is leaving. So much for the armory. What's left of it? Can't really. A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I could the lock was busted. Great. Cause you kicked the door down. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Uh, nope. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Quickly, please. Wait, look. Cool. Can we go now? Thanks for the help, guys. Much appreciated. There we go. Now the help is actually appreciated. Coming so Come much on. handy, though. We can hug later, right please. I'd like to Any leave. Way out of here? This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer when we came. <laughs> I we can no, I want to know why. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go. I want to know why. Who was the idiot that hung himself from the bell? Oh, 
jeez. Kenny, really? I know he a little dick, but come on. Let me go. All right. Thank you for your sacrifice. Krista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Hold on. Is he dead? Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Uh, hey. Back already? We got you medicine. Why was the assumption that he was dead? I feel like I could use some. Where's Ben? He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son Shit. of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. So I did what he asked. Really? Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine. I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work on the boat. Okay. With a little luck, you should start feeling better pretty soon. I'll stay here for a few more hours to check on him. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Doc. Yes. Thank you so much. Maybe now's a good time for you and me to have a little talk. In private. Great, what do you want? Hey, I wanted to thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. I'm glad Bree will have died for something meaningful. You want to know the You're the, the one that brought her. What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now... It's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now, and we'd better just get used to it. Mass Clementine loss will do to that to you. I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? No. Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What kind of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, I promise you. That's what you want for her, isn't it? I don't like any of these options. I know it's a lot to consider, but I want you to think about some things. You chose to let that boy die back in Crawford. I gotta wonder about the morality of the kind of man who would do something like that. I got to wonder what kind of parent you'd be.
That's, of course, assuming that had I tried to save him, that it would have worked. It's like, he was already letting go. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Okay. That might be for the best. Boat's gonna be crowded as it is. You kind of strike me as more of a go-it-alone type. Yeah, I've always had a hard time relying on other people. Although I've gotta admit, you've given me a reason to rethink that. Thanks. Listen, I'm not much for goodbye. Can you go tell Vernon that? Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. He's working on the boat. I know. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace better. Hopefully. Hey, What's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? have been bad if you don't want to talk about it. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? I'd like to, Claire, but I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I hate to say it, but maybe it's time to tell her that if her parents were alive, they probably would have already been looking for her. Sparing her feelings for much longer isn't going to do anybody any good. Oh great, you fell asleep. Clementine? Clementine? Clementine! The hat. God. She doesn't go anywhere with that. weird. Oh, joy. That would be an interesting cliffhanger. Is this where the episode's gonna leave us? Are you crazy? 
What are you doing out here? It ain't safe. Nope, okay. Me? Where's Clementine? She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. I got oh it. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? No. No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Clint may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. So that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. I have friends. Kenny. Bro. You've always been there for me, Lee. Yes, I have. You had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Exactly. Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Good. Okay, guys, we should go find Vernon, see if he took her. Let's head out. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? Assuming they knew it was there. Let's do it. Well, this has become a right shit show. And it's empty. Even their mattresses are gone. What? Where the hell are they? What, how, and why? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. You feeling okay, Lee? Oh dear. I hear walkers. <laughs> and apparently a lot of them. Oh my. Spit it out, Lee. Oh. I see how it is. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> so apparently all of my choices except Ben falling to his death were the popular ones. Gotcha. All right. Fantastic. Oh, cool. Okay, so it would have worked if I'd pulled Ben up. I 
I stand by my choice. Well, anyway, that's it for this episode. Obviously, the uh, chapter episode, whatever you want to call it, is done. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave it a like. I believe I said something about some sort of comment that you guys should totally leave before somewhere in there. Um, if not, go ahead and uh, leave your comments down below on what your opinion is on the whole Ben situation. But anyway, thanks again so much, guys. Go ahead and subscribe for more great content. This is Nick Sarity signing off. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.